Now, Australia's population is set to hit the 25 million mark tonight. We've reached this point 33 years earlier than predicted, so is it sustainable? Now, almost three quarters of the country say they think we don't need any more people. What are your thoughts? This show and shows like a purport to want to provide information to the viewers, but information is the last thing that they want viewers to have. That's why they do not have a demographer or a sociologist or an economist or some kind of expert there who could provide actual information. Instead, they've got a radio person personality. Now, her thoughts are obviously meaningless. They might as well have a, a marine biologist or, or a bus driver. I mean, she just doesn't have any more insight than them. So, but her role here is to read a script. Now, that script has been written in order to put forward some lies and some deceit to make out like, or at least not have the 250,000 a year rate questioned, because that has been set by Mr. Turnbull. And Mr. Turnbull is ex-Goldman Sachs, and his station is owned by Goldman Sachs. Therefore, they will not allow any information that contradicts him because they need, they want him to stay in power because they're owned by the same entity. So let's get into the lies and deceit of this story. I don't agree with that. Look at the size of Australia. And yes, I know that we have lots of Aran Desert, but we also have lots of rural communities who are screaming out for people. Somebody's typed an N instead of a D on the teleprompter. So she said... Aaron instead of Aaron. And she mentioned there that Australia is really, really big, but it's also arid. But in that load of nonsense, she got into that burst of passion to say that she strongly disagrees, which is an opinion that we know doesn't matter because it's not based on any kind of fact or statistics. And it's just an emotional outburst based on nonsense. That's the message that they want to get across. And look, that will filter through to a lot of viewers. And for skill base. And I think that, no, when we haven't hit the limit. So the deceit here is to not address the original conundrum, which was, is 250,000 people a year too sustainable? Instead, she's saying, changed it to whether we've hit the limit or not. Now, she said, we haven't hit the limit. Well, what is the limit? Is it 50 million, 60 million, 100 million? She doesn't even mention what a limit is. But the important thing here is that she's now no longer talking about the issue of whether it's sustainable. Look at the UK. They're, you know, we, we are 32 times bigger than them, and yet we have a third of um, their population. So she hasn't gone back to the topic of the rate of migration of 250,000 a year. Instead, she's talking about total population, and she's doing so in a ridiculous comparison with a country that has a completely different climate, completely different soil, completely different ability to feed itself and water resources. So this is, again, the deception is continuing with, with her with the script. And, and the other thing is too, it's not just immigrants coming in, it's not just the 250,000 that come in each year. So at this point in time, she hasn't actually addressed whether or not the 250,000 is sustainable. All she's done is she said, I don't agree. And then she started talking about, she didn't agree that we've reached any kind of limits and started talking about England's population or Britain's population. So now she's going back to the 250,000 people a year. Let's just see if she does actually say whether she agrees or disagrees that it's sustainable or not. It's also we're having more kids. That's the bottom line. Well, the answer to that is no. And in fact, she's introduced another distraction and actually blamed it on. And she says the bottom line is it's, it's our homegrown population and not the immigration. Now, I remember when I was a little girl, the stock standard was mum, dad and the two kids. And now with my kids generation, like I have three, I know a number of families that have four and five children. So she is stating almost as fact that Australia's birth rate has increased. And that is a major contribution to why we've reached 25 million, 32 years ahead of what the Australian Bureau of Statistics predicted. And she's basing that almost ironclad declaration that Australia's birth rate is increasing rapidly because from her memories as a little girl, she remembers that there were two children families getting around. Now, whether she made too much of a note and whether her memories that accurate, well, that's her evidence. And that the birth rate is a lot higher now is that she has three children and she knows families with four or five children. but. She would also know families with two children, one children, and no children. But she hasn't mentioned them because she's lying and she's deceiving. And to us believing that the birth rate is contributing to the reaching the 25 million 30 years earlier, rather than Turnbull's immigration policy, which is what they're trying to hide with this story. So here's the Australian Bureau of Statistics 2016 census quick stat. So we won't mess about too long here. Families, average, there's 6 million and 70,000 families in Australia. Average children per family with children, 1.8.
for all families, 0 0.8. <laughs> okay. That's from the Australian Bureau of Statistics, the latest census. As opposed to her, oh, when I was a little girl, I remember, I think people only had two. And now I know some families with four kids, and I've got three of my own. <laughs> so I hope you're getting a sense for what a hit piece this is and how really deeply deceitful it is. These segments are with these are quite attractive women with, with very low, slow um, plunging necklines. This is actually what they're saying and what they're there for. And they're all reading scripts. None of these, there's not a single thought from any of these airheads ever gets to air. These are all scripts. I mean, I think it's okay. I think that we have the actual infrastructure to do it. There's absolutely no problems reading outright lies straight to the camera, straight to the audience. She knows full well that the infrastructure is just not there and that 250,000 people a year is way too much for us to handle. But she says, I think it's okay and just tells an outright lie. My big issue is if people are coming in, they have to contribute to our country. And that was just an, another emotional little detour off to just distract the audience. And therefore we just keep growing up. Well, in this very same interview, she said we haven't reached the limit. But now she's saying that we can just keep growing. Well, is there a limit and what is it? Or, <laughs> totally contradictory, can we just keep growing forever? This is where the script writers forget what they've written earlier on. Because it is just a script. It's not a coherent, rational discussion and they've just forgotten that they said that earlier on, so that's how come she slipped up here. I don't think it's a bad thing. I know Dick Smith does, but I don't. So many would disagree with you that infrastructure is absolutely not keeping up with this, and of course 90% of the new... In the cities! So what they've cleverly done here is she said that the infrastructure, there's not a problem with it, but of course there is. So, but they just wanted to get that statement out. But now, she's now saying, oh no, there's a clarification in the cities, but they got their original statement in that she said in the script, which is all just trying to implant into people's minds. Percent of new migrants are settling in Melbourne and Sydney. Do we need to get smarter then about distributing the population? Absolutely. In the capital cities, I agree with you. No, we are expanding and expanding, but if people are going to come out, and we also need to have motivation for our own Australians to head out to the bush, to head out to regional communities. Maybe that's where the tax benefit should be, so that the population moves inland, not just on the coastal fringe. I mean, yes, look, the cities, absolutely chockers, but that's not all of Australia. And they finished off with some shots of some babies on a table, just to reiterate that it's not the migration. It's the increasing birth rate, which, according to the Bureau of Statistics, wasn't the case, as was stated by the radio personality. And they went to the trouble of either finding some film of some babies or going out and filming them just to get a bit of this story, even though the story was about migration. And if the story wasn't pre-scripted, which is what they'd have you believe, how did they know that the radio personality was going to bring up babies to have the babies in the shot ready to go for when she brought it up? <laughs> okay, sorry, that's a bit of a distraction, but it is true. It is all scripted. Now, but the most important thing is, is that their beloved Goldman Sachs colleague, Mr. Turnbull, was not contradicted. His immigration policy is perfectly okay. And really, it's more about, oh, look, all they've done is just distracted, deceived, and tried to confuse people and to just get false messages across. That's the purpose of this story.